So this question provides us with a diagram right here. We're given this table. The table tells us information about three different stores, right? So the first store is store A, the second store is store B, and the third store is store C. And then we have these material costs, rental costs of a wheelbarrow, which is variable W, and rental costs of concrete, which is variable K. We're also provided with this equation that tells us the total cost based upon the store that is chosen. So question number 17 says, if the relationship between the total cost Y, right, which again is that equation there, which I'm gonna just write here, Y equals capital M, so materials cost, plus parentheses, the wheelbarrow cost, plus the concrete cost, times the number of days X that you'll be using those tools. So if the relationship between the total cost Y of buying the materials and renting the tools at store C and the number of days X for which the tools are rented is graphed in the XY plane, what does the slope of the line represent? All right. So if basically we were to graph this, right, because I think that's what it just described, if the relationship between total cost, so Y and X, well, we already have that relationship. It's given to us, okay? So anytime, I, anytime this question talks about an XY plane or graphing or slope and a line, and like I'm going to think about this through a Y equals MX plus B format. So I'm going to rearrange what I was provided with here and say, well, that means that I can rewrite this as Y equals, so that capital M is a constant, right? And so we're talking about store C. I actually know that that number is 700. And then when I get to my W plus K, well, my W for store C is 20. And my, my K for store C is 70, so 20 plus 70. And then I have the X there. So this turns into Y equals 700 plus 90 X. But again, because I want it to look like my slope intercept form, I'm going to rearrange it just a little bit and make it Y equals 90 X plus 700, where therefore my 700 is the B value or Y intercept and the 90 is the M value or the slope. All right, so now let's look at the answer choices. The total, so, so what does the slope of the line represent? Well, for us, it's the 90, and we know that that came from the sum of W and K. So let's see which answer choice matches what we already know about the slope. So A, the total cost of the project. No, Y represents the total cost of the project, but we're looking for the representation of M. So A is out. B, the total cost of the materials. No, we know that the total cost of materials is 700. So that's definitely not the slope. So that's also out. Choice C, the total daily cost of the project. Um, no, because that's just saying X equals one, right? If we had it for one day, uh, that's not the slope um, there. So that's gone. And then D, the total daily rental cost of the tools. Well, yes, again, because this 90, which is our slope, comes from the 20 plus 70, which is the daily rental costs for the tools, right? So choice D, because of that, is the best answer.